Hello y'all, this is Molo Mo Fortune, and today I want to talk to you about how I created the song Baby. Now I got my notes, so I'm going to be reading it from here, so bear with me. <clears throat> I was listening to O3 Greedo's mixtape, Purple Summer, and there was a track that stood out to me. It is called Sweet Lady. He was dedicating all the ladies who were attractive in the Georgia Down projects. There was this one name that stood out to me. The name was Shay Shay. How ironic because I know a female that I call Shay Shay who I got a crush on. I thought about her and dedicated to write a verse dedicated to her. While I was constantly listening to this song, I was intrigued of how Greedo made the beat. The piano started in the beginning. I knew I was going to like this song. Plus, the bass made it even better to jam to. While I studied the sounds of his beat, I wanted to make my own version of Sweet Lady. So I looked up the tempo for this song, went to FL Studio, and went to work. Eventually, I completed my beat and was damn sure proud of it. At the time, this was my third beat that I made on my own. So now I have to create made a title. My best friend that goes by the name of Nine Zeros was making a song called Bay, but he ended up trashing it. I was still thinking of a chorus and thought about Shay Shay. So I ended up thinking of words that rhymes with her name. Finally, I actually went to think of a name for it. It was called Bay Bay. But the problem is, Nine Zeros made a song called Bay. So I called him and told him about my song idea and asked him that will he mind if I use the title since he made since he created a song like that first. He was okay with it, so I ended up using it. Now, if you would have told me no, I would have used another title out of respect I had for him. Now for the hook. When you hear the first bar of it, I was gonna relay it, let it repeat until the verses start. But Nine Zeros gave his input and told me to add something else so it won't get repetitive very quick. I said, okay, I'll add something else. And it worked. What I really liked about this song is that it's catchy, descriptive, and happy. I truly thank O3 Greedo and Nine Zeros for the influence of this song. This is a classic and personal favorite track that I've ever done, and I'm glad to put it out for the world to see. So, if you haven't seen it now, go check out my song, Bay Bay. It's on YouTube, it's on Limbo, it's on iTunes, it's on Spotify. Check it out, and I guarantee you, you won't be disappointed. This is Mo Love, Mo Fortune, and I'm out.